In modern Yu-Gi-Oh, there is an immense divide between skilled and unskilled duelists. We joke with them and call them Yugi Boomers, Scrubs, and Noobs. But there's one key difference from these people and true duelists the understanding of both linear and non linear combo lines. The Tillament deck focuses on non linear play. The attack on the deck is an attack on the mind. Therefore, a non-linear strategy is most optimal. your opponent's life points to zero. But I can see now that my combo line has changed. There's a new path to victory.
All right, my boys, let's talk about the magical Valance deck number 2.0. This deck is pretty spicy. I think that um, it's really important to really understand what we're up against right now. The tier limit meta is a non-linear strategy that pretty much is an RNG generator for them, and it puts a lot of options on the table. So if you have a lot of options on the table, if you know what to do with those options, you can make spectacular boards and also interesting interactions. But if you aren't as skilled, then you're going to make weaker boards with less weak, you know, m less effective uh, interactions. And I think that definitely um, if you don't understand that, this is the time to definitely learn and understand the difference between a linear and a nonlinear deck. Um, right now, I'm playing a Valence Magical Musket combo that if you really think about it in the end, what does this deck do? Um, it combos out to summon Access Code Talker. That is the win condition in this deck to combo out, clear the board, summon Access Code Talker and win. But how do we get to Access Code Talker is the non-linear piece to my entire strategy. You know, the, getting to access code talker is easy in this deck. How I get to access code talker is the, the way the deck is built the way it is and the way the extra deck is built the way it is. So let's just talk about the entire deck going forward from that concept in mind. And let's just think about that. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to run 13 hand traps. What is that? Three crows, three uh, max C uh three triple tactics talent one is prismatic my boy and um four of the magical musket um hand traps basically the reason why we're gonna run 13 is because we want to guarantee one or two in the first hand and then also um since we're going second um honestly our hand traps are tailored towards like the strongest deck in the meta right now and and pretty much we're gonna get dividends from these hand traps all the time especially um magical musket dancing needle which is basically three dd crows in one card so it's absolutely disgusting um also on top of that in terms of the core cards of the deck i'm running 22 monsters um i found out that 22 core cards is make stuff consistent and i don't i don't know if that is like i don't know if it's some like real magic number about that but that's what i found which was good for me which is uh 10 uh magical musket monsters which is casper uh or caspar uh starfire which is prismatic my boy and then also uh kid brave and uh musketeer doc so basically you have these 10 magical musketeers all you ever need is one so that's why we're only running 10 we don't want to see too many of these in the first hand but we definitely want to see just one um and then also we're running uh uh 12 uh valence cards which are three shinoname uh to get to search uh three buster baron which is going to be our mover um three viscount which is also a card to, that can be moved to get additional plus ones and then also uh mad marquee and we're running two of those with one ninja i decided to cut some of the valance cards basically because they did not fit in this new synergistic model that i was trying to play against and i wanted to go as non-linear as possible and the strategy that you're using in valance to activate valance wars after using shinoname's effect to add and then using another card in hand to get destroyed so you can search the valance world spell to activate valance world to play the other singular copy of valance world from the deck that is an example of a linear strategy that will not work if they mill five and hit any one of those cards so that makes all the other cards dead so it makes sense to take those cards out um, and since I took those cards out, um, I made the other cuts in the Valance deck and trimmed the fat so that I could add three triple tactics talents, basically. And this other card that I'm going to talk about right now into the Vrains, which goes into the tech part of the deck. I'm running five tech cards, link it to the Vrains. Uh, performer pal duelist extraordinaire to facilitate pendulum, pendulum summoning and wind up kitten to facilitate the zen matey combo but basically link into the vrains is a really good card to use with magical musketeer max because max is a link one of any magical musketeer monster which is ridiculous 
and once he's linked off his effect is going to activate and your opponent cannot respond to the linked monsters uh, effect due to the effect of link to the brains so that means that they have to respond to this card and if they negate this card that's fine i didn't invest the monster and if they um don't negate this card then i'm just going to summon a monster still have my normal summon and probably have some other means of special summoning as well so link it to the frames is a really powerful card i had no idea this card existed and like nobody told me about this card i just so happened to be looking in my urs for like another card to use and i happened to have this card and was like wow this card is amazing so uh i threw the card in realized how good it was and it changed literally the entire structure of this deck my boy so i hope that you guys enjoy this deck and get a lot of dubs with it that's all the time i got for today and as always keep it dank <laughs>